Clogging is a joyful dance style that gets hands clapping, toes tapping. Barry Lanham, Sarah Strobel, Daniel Kwok are here, and they represent the dance group. We've got clogs in Owensboro and everywhere else. Good to see That's you. That's right. Thank you for having us, Angie. We're glad to be here. Well, I'm glad you are, too. So you're going to be dancing at Romp as well. So that's yes, next we week. Yes, we will be. We will be. And also at the Landon Brothers Jamboree, which my brother Randy and I uh, co-produced that. Well. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that's coming up on August the 6th. Hope everyone can join us there and see some more, a lot more dancing. And where is the Jamboree? It's at the Bluegrass Hall of Fame and Museum in Owensboro. That's the same place where our classes are held. Uh, I teach there several nights a week and on the stage. So we have a nice wooden floor. And these are two of our dancers that we have here with us going to do some demonstrations. Well, you know, we don't have a nice wooden floor for you. We've got a nice <laughs> studio floor. Is it difficult to dance on a floor like this one you've been doing on? No, uh-uh. Not at all? Mm -hmm. It's not okay. slicky for no. you? No. We need duct tape on our shoes, actually. Oh, do help you? Us slip. <laughs> oh, that's great. So that's slip. great. So, so won't how, fall. how long have you been dancing? Three years. This Three. is my third year. And do you do another form of dance, other style of dance? Besides? No. Mm -mm. Okay. Clogging's it, huh? Oh, yeah. You want to <laughs> Daniel, what about you? I've been doing this for about three Three months. Three months? Oh, wow. How many yeah, students do you have in your class? It varies, uh, but anywhere around 100 to 130 per week. Do you really? So, yes, yeah. So there's there's a large group, and yeah. So, but clogging, you know, it's an old dance. It's a folk dance. Yes. So it's you know, birth in the Appalachian Mountains. It's a mixture of the Irish, Scottish, and German. So it's a very rich history uh, of dance that we do. So I'm glad that we have these young people here, Angie, to help carry it on and keep the tradition going. Well, it is important. You it know, is. We, were, we were in Ireland this time last year, and oh, you, yeah. you see that connection between the dances you do and the Irish step dancing, except yes. your bodies are not erect like this. Yes. So what's uh -huh. your body style? How would you describe how you hold your body when you dance? We're very loose. It just goes with our feet. We'll, like, go up with our feet like that. <laughs> I love yeah. it. I love it. Full so, of energy. Mm -hmm. I, it yes. is. It's full of energy. You cannot, yeah. you cannot be blue when you're doing no. your, your clogging. <laughs> That's right. How can people sign up for your classes? Uh, they can go to the Hall of Fame uh, website, which is bluegrasshall.org, and it has an education link on there, and they can find out when the classes are, and also my email's on there. They can contact me with questions. Every age? Every age group. We have them from 5 to 105, and everywhere in between. So it's something that everybody can do and good exercise as well. It is good exercise. And we're going to exercise just a minute when we come back because we're going to turn on some music and let her yeah. rip. So stay with us. <laughs>